Today, we will once again take a look at interesting footage that captures a moment. This is how Ukrainian drones easily blow up Russian soldiers tried to advance in Bakhmut. The moment Ukrainian drones easily repel a Russian attempt to advance in the blood-drenched region of Bakhmut, Russian soldiers can be seen crawling out from beneath the shells of their strongholds when the lethal attack drone swoops in to take them out in one clean sweep. The Ukrainian drones had been sitting patiently in wait, eyeing up their targets from above as the Russian soldiers desperately tried to advance. The footage shows how the Russian soldiers run in and out of crisply burned buildings, unaware of the threat looming over them. After toying with them for a few brief minutes, the drones were able to quickly pick off the Russian troops. The footage shows how the drones zero in on their targets, rapidly flying into their targets, before the screen becomes pixelated. It then zooms out to an aerial shot showing the smoke billowing out of the buildings. The footage, which was taken on the front lines near the village of Ivaniski in Bakhmut, was released by Ukrainian officials on Tuesday, March 27th. It was posted to social media by the separate presidential brigade, dubbed Hetman Boden Kamelnitsky, with a short statement. It read, an unsuccessful attempt by Russian troops to enter the village of Ivaniski, while the situation in the Luhansk sector, heavy fighting near Terny continues, and the two armies attacked each other. The 1st Company of the 1st Mechanized Battalion of the Presidential Brigade and the 80th Air Assault Brigade together brought the Orcs under fire, AGS, mortars, and FPV drones are working. It comes as part of a reinvigorated push against Russian forces on the front line of the Bakhmut region, while on Saturday, March 23rd, footage of several of Putin's troops being killed by kamikaze drones was released. The Russian troops can be seen trying to make a last-minute escape after clocking on to the incoming threat but it was already too late. A statement read, A group of occupiers in the Bakhmut sector of the front line came under the sight of the Black Raven pilots of the 93rd Separate Mechanized Brigade, Kolodny Yar, of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. With no other options to save their lives in the open, the Russian soldiers decided to take cover under the previously destroyed armored personnel carrier, wait it out and continue their advance towards our positions, as a result none of the group survived. The General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine has reported that between February 24, 2022, and March 26, 2024, Russia has lost over 438,000 personnel. Russia is also thought to have lost just under 7,000 tanks, over 13,000 armored vehicles, 11,000 artillery units, 727 air defense systems, 347 warplanes, 325 helicopters, 8,000 drones, and many more specialist equipment. Earlier this month, one of Putin's 1 million pounds T-72 tanks was completely eviscerated by a Ukrainian suicide drone from chilling footage showed the Russian tank making its way across the battlefield when it suddenly gets blown to smithereens. And in February, a valuable trove of Putin's war weapons were blown up by just a handful of kamikaze drones, the Ukrainian military wreaked havoc on a Russian hangar, destroying the high-level equipment from Putin's war chest. Footage showed the deadly kamikaze drone entering the hangar and hovering around what appeared to be the rare Russian BMPT Terminator tank before shredding it up into pieces. It is supposed to be one of Russia's most advanced weapon systems as Putin attempts to portray his armed forces as some of the strongest in the world. But on this day, Russian forces in Ukraine lost 780 soldiers, 10 tanks and more than 20 armored personnel vehicles APVs, in the past day, according to Kyiv's military, as fighting rages on ahead of anticipated offensives in the coming months. Moscow's armed forces have now lost a total of 440,750 troops since Russia launched its full-scale invasion in February 2022 according to updated figures published by the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine on Thursday.
By Kyiv's count, Russia has now lost 6,924 tanks and 13,258 APVs, but casualty counts and equipment losses on war are notoriously opaque. Western experts suggest both Kyiv's and Moscow's reported losses are higher than the true figure. Neither side regularly offers updated statistics on their own losses, but in late February, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said 31,000 Ukrainian soldiers had died in the more than two years of fighting. Meanwhile, Western countries backing Ukraine need to urgently increase their defense production, dedicating more military equipment to Kyiv while battling Moscow's wielding of information to prevent the Kremlin from triumphing in Ukraine, according to a new analysis. The West has the advantage, but it must decide to use it, the Institute for the Study of War (ISW), a U.S. think tank, said Wednesday, and all it needs to do is stand up and mobilize in support of Ukraine's war effort. Mobilizing would mean surging its military production, sparing more of its existing military capabilities and economic assets, and accepting a higher threshold for pain and risk now to avoid more cost and pain and risk in the future," the ISW said. Many Western countries have committed to arming and supporting Ukraine in the more than 25 months Kyiv has spent fighting Russia's full-scale invasion, and the US has been the single largest donator of military aid to Kyiv's war effort. But a new package, worth $60 billion, has languished for months in Congress, jeopardizing Ukraine's supplies of ammunition, rockets, air defense systems and other vital assets. Shortages have already boxed Ukraine into a corner by limiting its operations against Russia, experts say, but worries over whether Ukraine is adequately equipped will likely worsen in the coming months. Kyiv has warned that Russia is preparing for a renewed offensive around late May and into the summer and Moscow has been making slow but steady advances in eastern Ukraine. 